Hey guys, Jason here from Ridgeline Overlanding. Just wanted to share a little bit of our adventure up the east side of Harrison Lake near Vancouver, British Columbia. Hope you enjoy the ride. All right, so we are at Sasquatch Provincial Park where the road is going to turn to gravel. So we have stopped to do some airing down. So again with the three trucks, we got Kurt in his 2014 Ram 1500, Jeffrey in the 2017 Titan SL, and then of course me in the Honda Ridgeline. All right, so here we are cruising the East Harrison Forest Road. Looking pretty nice out here. If you look out the window, you can see that we are quite a ways above the lake down there. And we, we, we'll catch a break in between the trees. I don't know, maybe. Well, here we are in a, we're up here on a high point near the Cascade Peninsula. In fact, I believe that is looking down at the Cascade Peninsula on Harrison Lake here. We are on the single lane bridge, uh -huh. single lane bridge at Bear Creek, gorgeous looking waterfall. You're good. Hi, right, your running boards are good six inches off the ground. I just don't want to go over that big log. No, that's just it. You got to, you got to inch it a bit more than I do. I don't quite have the turning radius. You at least going to put it in four wheel drive? Yeah, I'd say we're, we're, we're rubbing the, the, uh, the step bars, but it actually did better than I thought it would. I'm going to just back up here a little bit so we can uh, get a little more of a look. Wow, the, the front air dam is just there, just there. You actually might make it, but I would back up just a pinch. Your running board is an inch off the ground. Kurt, tell him if he's tell him if his uh, front right's good. That's a familiar sound. That is the equalizer between the ridge line and the full size running boards. No, it's 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 dirt and it's the log. You're fine. It's no more than what I had. Nice and slow on that front side there. Okay, let's have a look at the front. Hold it there. Stop. I want to get a look. Hang on. Oh yeah. Yeah, well we air down our tires and then we end up giving up ground clearance. You can see a little bit of flex in that uh, KO2. Is it just on that air dam? Oh, it's definitely gonna hit the air dam, which is fine, but you're not gonna hit the chrome. Yep, yeah, just pushing and shoving a little, uh, little dirt, no biggie. Nice and easy off the back end, there we go. We are at a high spot on the road here, still on uh, Harrison East FSR, working our way uh, to the Clear Creek Hot Springs. Well, he's got his back. He's got his back tire off the uh, floating in the air. Yeah, it looks good. Sand load, baby. Look at soft. Like all those VTEC guys say, put it in sand load and sand load. Well, not exactly settled, is it? Whoa! Woohoo! Well, that's what skid plates are for. We shall see how the running boards do here. Should be interesting. If I can get up on in there with them. Oh, yeah, that's no surprise, I guess. So this is what we drove up. It was all kinds of steep, and I did bang a couple of them rocks, but I didn't really care. 
wonder if I could make it down this. Can't even see it. This is gonna be crazy. And there is one big rock and some soft ass sand, but you only live once. Time to drive. He is ready to send it right on up there. So send it. Oh, I love the sound of that engine and exhaust. It's not a truck I would personally buy, but it's a great truck. I love the sound of it. Oh, so close. But Kurt's just backing his way out. We all gave it a go. I really didn't make it that far. You can kind of see up there that the uh, the ruts are pretty deep. I bounced up and slammed my front bumper down into it. We're up into the Clear Creek Forest Service Road. And, uh, well, it's a lot steeper. Tranny temps are now 226. Holy moly. And it's not even a hot day. And we've got these big drainage ditches here that are, uh, well, causing me to have to slow down quite a bit. If you listen, you might be able to hear my exhaust pipe go clink. And later on, I'll show you a picture of it because it is now shaped like a pear. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we get to do our first water crossing. Tranny temps have come down to 215, which I guess they've actually gone up to 215 since I last talked to you, but it did go as high as 224. So we are gonna just take our time getting through here. Sorry, it's a little difficult to manipulate the gas and the brake and narrate a video, but uh, this is about the third spot like this where there's been significant washing out. So you can see the creek's all coming down here and at some point it took a whole bunch of road with it. So we're gonna clear this log. Uh, to this point, all these obstacles have been actually quite manageable. But the drainage ditches have been a bit of a problem. If I don't go dead slow, I end up trashing that uh, tailpipe as you saw. Anyway, gotta roll. All right, Jeffrey has asked for a spotter. He said, guide him so that he doesn't hit another big rock. I guess the another big rock means he's already had a little incident of sorts here, so it is what it is. He's got plenty of clearance. You're good, you just gotta watch when you come over this log. Okay. Just swing uh, left, or swing right, and then come into your left as you get, so you'll bring your back wheel over the log. You should actually be filming this, busy pointing and giving him directions and forgetting about my audience here. Amateur YouTuber, no GoPro. No drone, no 4K. Just some jackass with his iPhone who thinks he's gonna get famous on YouTube. Anyway, now I'm blocking traffic, so Kurt's gonna wanna make his way in and uh, we'll get him through. I might as well at least film it while I'm out here. Right, zoom. All right, we'll do that. So just, uh, let's have a little peeksy down here. Um, you can see some pretty, pretty sorry steep terrain and you can see where half the mountain came through. And uh, the other half came down. That's pretty crazy. So Kurt's coming on in. Good. Oops, sorry, wrong button. Let's get some zoom here. So it looks like they are just clearing these rocks with their front air dams. Uh, I probably just cleared it too. It's a darn good time to have skid plates. But you know what? We got to film our first water crossing. And that counts for something. Water crossing, we gotta count that. Oh boy, this could be the one to uh, really put a dent in what's left of my exhaust. You can see it drops down pretty good here. So we'll consider this our next water crossing and uh, wish me luck. Okay, nice little water crossing here. See, he's got his rear tire off the ground.
So you can see it's a little bit steep there. Those ruts, the little rashy spots in the middle of the screen are actually where my tailpipes dragged, drug, anyway, were dragging on the way down. I can't watch this other side, but I guess Kurt is. He's also filming. All right, we got a wheel off the ground. Yeah, baby. Oh, and his makes it. <clears throat> Just a little bit of air dam scrapage. <clears throat> That's a tight turn though. He's not gonna clear that log, neither did I. It was the backing up that did a little bit of tailpipe damage, but I don't care. We've already trashed those things. Oh, oh, just makes it. Tight end. He thinks he's got a better line. Let's see if we can get his rear tire off the ground. Uh, uh, yep, oh yeah, we got some off the ground. Oh, ho, ho, ho. he's gunning it a little too much. Nice and slow, buddy. Oh man, he's got spotters and he ain't listening to us. He's just booking it. So here's a shot of the approach and the crossing. That's quite the shelf that we're gonna get to uh, tackle on the way back, but it is what it is. The front end of the ridge line is doing just great. One and a half inch lift is enough. And here's this uh, pretty cool waterfall. I had no idea this was up here, but here we are. All right, here comes our next water crossing. This one should be real easy. It'll be more water and less bumps. Let's have a little look downstream as well to see what we're looking at here. That's a pretty good sized creek. According to the map, we still got another three kilometers or so to go or two miles from my American friends. This 11 kilometer road up to the Clear Creek Hot Springs feels more like 100 kilometers, which would be 62.5 miles for my American friends and family. Here's our next water crossing. Nothing too badass, more water, but no actual obstacles. So that's kind of good. Uh, Trendy temps are at 212, not bad. They cooled down to 199 at the last water crossing because it just stopped and did a lot of filming. Wow, this is great. Look at all this water rushing down. Coming on down the creek here. Let's see if we can look right out my window. All right, so that's got to be a good, you know, six inches. The knees are tight. Yeah, okay, I'm getting a little bit carried away. I just finished an energy drink, so I am buzzing. Up to the license plate at some point. Nice. Nice, Bielman's coming through with confidence. It's a nice looking truck, I do like it. Let's back this thing up. So badass! I actually hit on that rock, I wasn't really respecting it and uh, was too busy setting up the filming and just gave a little clunk with my skid plate or something, but this is why we have skid plates. All right, Kaiser's up. I want to get him from a different angle. Try something a little different, so let's cruise on over here. Try and get them on the uh, upstream side. There we go, yes. Well, that about does it for this, our first real adventure into the woods with our trucks. A long and satisfying 15 hour day. We had a great time, we got to play, and we kept the damage to a minimum. So this is my first attempt at videoing my adventures and only my second crack at the editing booth. As you can tell, I've still got lots to learn, lol. For now, I just want to keep on adventuring and, and try not to let the photography and the videography become too much of a chore. I don't want to forget to just enjoy nature and be in the moment. So hope you all enjoyed this video, and if so, do me a favor, hit that like button, maybe even consider subscribing to my humble channel. So until next time, take good care and enjoy the great outdoors. Bye for now.